Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rank Beyond Forever Sports and uh, some breaking news. Wayne Barnes' career has come to an end. Uh, the world's most experienced uh, referee ever uh, has officially hung up the whistle, so to speak, and uh, has brought an end to a, a pretty a pretty good career at the end of the day. Um, a phenomenal career. A record-breaking career, as uh, the, uh, the, the World Rugby um, press release does sort of mention. So, yeah, I suppose, you know, in terms of going on in a high, Officiating your first and last ever Rugby World Cup final is probably the best way to go. And uh, yeah, I think just an absolutely brilliant referee. And uh, yeah, I think the game was much better for him being in it. And I think that's probably the best way to, to sum up a, a good referee is the fact that, you know, when people are disappointed, when people are really upset that he's leaving, it shows you the career he's had. And it's just sad that he is leaving on the back of death threats, apparently, and, uh, and a lot of contention about... A World Cup final, which was appreciated pretty well. Um, and you will sit there saying that, oh, you just say that because you're a South African fan and we won. I, I definitely wouldn't have said he was a bad referee if we had lost, for example. I definitely don't think that is where um, the match was won and lost. But now, before we sort of go a little bit into his career and have a look at exactly uh, what he did while he was refereeing and, and where he's moving on to, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, he has been a referee for 17 years, a record 111 tests, five Rugby World Cups, as well as various domestic and European competitions and finals. And um, when he, in his final match, uh, he was a record 27th Rugby World Cup match as a referee and his sixth match in the middle of France 2023, which was equaling the record he set at Rugby World Cup 2019. Um, when he did the same amount of games. Uh, if we look at some of his basic stats and some of the basic achievements, he is the most capped referee in test history with 111 tests between 2006 to 2023. He was also involved in 92 tests as an assistant referee with three as a TMO. He was a referee for a record five Rugby World Cup, record 27 Rugby World Cup matches. Um, he's the second Englishman to referee a Rugby World Cup final after Ed Morrison in 1995. He's got a record 26 Six Nations matches as a referee across 17 championships from 2007 to 2023. He has 13 tri nation slash rugby championship matches from 2007 to 2023 and he was the rugby, World Rugby Referee Award recipient in 2019. Um, commenting on his decision, uh, Wayne Barnes said the following. He said, over the past 20 years I've been in the middle of some of the greatest rugby uh, matches in history. I have been some of the world's best players. I've seen some of the world's best players and worked with some of the finest coaches the game has ever produced. Last Saturday, I was privileged to referee the Rugby World Cup final between two of the most iconic teams in sport, the All Blacks and the Springboks. People often say you will know when is the right time to retire, and this is clearly the right time for me and for my family. My children have missed out on time with their dad for far too long, and I'm now looking forward to family weekends, sports matches, school assemblies, and birthday parties. My wife Polly has sacrificed more than anyone so that I've been able to achieve some of my personal goals. While I've been away most weekends and for decent chunks of the year, she has had to juggle being an amazing mum with two active children along with holding down a hugely successful career of her own. I will continue to advocate for referees and work closely with the International Rugby Match Official Association to ensure match officials across the globe not only have a collective voice but also the appropriate support network for them and their families particularly as online abuse and threats have become far too regular for all those involved in the game. Um, I am extremely proud that my career has spanned five Rugby World Cups, 26 Six Nations matches, three European Champions Cup finals, and 10 Premiership finals. And I'm grateful for all those who have helped me along the way, in particular Chris White, Tony Spreadbury, Brian Camsell, Nigel Yates, and Phil Keith Roach. It's been an incredible journey. It has been an incredible journey. Uh, he's what a referee, what a man. And uh, in terms of what he is going to be doing, he is a qualified lawyer, uh, in case anyone didn't know. He is a partner at a firm, and uh, one of my managers, that is where he will be moving off back to and getting across more into that. So, uh, yeah, he's nice, nice to have a backup, and a pretty good backup as well. So, yeah, I think at the end of the day, you know, he's, he's had a couple of rough years uh, with regards to online abuse and with regards to being at the forefront of, of, of rugby at a time where referees have probably faced more scrutiny now than ever before. And uh, I think, you know, that sends where he says, well, he knows when the time is right. I think it's, you know, I think he's at the, at the top of his game. I do think he's, you know, one of the top referees, if not the best referee in the world. And, um, but he's getting, you know, the, the online abuse, for example, you sit there thinking, well, I've achieved everything I need to achieve. I've got a career that I, that I can fall back onto. 
um, you know, and 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 as he said, he wants to spend more time with his family. So I think it's the correct decision. I think that uh, you know it's it's time to fairly put last weekend behind and just celebrate a great referee because we need to celebrate more than just our coaches and our players because the matches don't happen without our match officials. And for all that we sit there complaining about match officials, you aren't good enough. We're talking about one of the best officials. Let's celebrate uh, one of the better ones and one of the best uh, men in the game. Uh, let me know what you think. If you have any party comments for Wayne Barnes down below, uh, we're now moving officially, really, into the next generation. I think somebody like a Luke Pierce is someone to really look forward to. Um, I think that um, there's there's a couple of, 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 of other referees in and around. Um, I think Amy Bateron, for example, from South Africa, I think is going to have a great career. Um, I think if you look at Holly Davidson in the URC, I think she's absolutely superb. I think that she's going to have a phenomenal career. So I think there's a couple of the referees that I'm looking forward to seeing them grow over the next couple of years. Um, but John, let me know which referees you're looking forward to. Who do you think will be the referee for the next World Cup final, for example? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Um, my name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.